What is up, y'all? This is JT. I just wanted to show you what this uh, Bauer tool is actually capable of. And I've got one of the one inch, something like that, uh, chisel bit. And uh, as you can see, I've just been taking down bricks because there is a lot of rot on the back side of this. On the back side of this. I can show you kind of what I'm talking about. There's like, there's no rim joist at all. It's all rotten out. Some of the floor joists need to be sistered in. And um, this essentially is what's left of the rim joist. And uh, without actually piercing through here, but You can see that it's it's all it's all rotten out, but this does a really really good job of just getting in between these bricks. Let's see if I can try to show it to you in action with one hand. But if I go in here. And as you can see, there's little uh, holders in place for some of those. I was taking them with both hands on the tool. I was taking them two rows at a time, as you can see here. And they were coming up just fine. It's just when you run into these right here, these, these actually hold the bricks in place. And they're actually nailed into the wall. But as you can see, Right here in this corner, like it's all rotted out. And literally, I can just stick my finger through there. So, all this stuff has to be replaced. This whole corner's rotten off. That's why I got it covered up with a bag. But it does a decent job. I, I picked this up for on sale on one of the one of the um, parking lot sales for like uh sixty nine dollars and then i found another coupon for like another ten percent or something like that so essentially i got this tool for um sixty three bucks or something like that sixty two sixty three and then i had to buy the chisels of course and they were another fourteen bucks something like that with a coupon but all in all um i can't say for the longevity so much but it does do a decent job at what it's meant for and i've got a whole wall to take down i don't know what i'm going to do with these bricks but a whole wall to take down then i gotta get behind there and start refinishing or uh, replacing wood and uh yeah that's pretty much it but one of the reasons why this whole damage actually occurred is because you can see the pitch on this uh, ghetto, not properly done drip edge right here. It actually leans back, so it had plastic right here. And as it dripped down in behind, it got behind this plastic and actually rotted it out. So anytime you're gonna wrap your house, you're gonna wrap it all the way up. You know, you don't stop right where there's a drip edge because it's not going to properly protect it but that's where I'm at right now I'm just fixing like look at all this water damage there's just water damage here water damage there this whole piece this whole piece all the way across has got to come off um, I don't know if I'm gonna redo all of it but for right now I got to get to the rim joist and also, sister in some new floor joists, which is going to be quite fun. You see, it does a it does a wonderful job. Just getting in between there, it'll actually 
I don't want to. Well, here's one that's already broken. Let's see what it'll do to an actual brick. So yeah, does the job. Um, when you put it on the uh, lower settings on this little dial, literally the tool won't even run. So you gotta put it up to like, at least two, if you really wanna do some slow work. I'd say three, whatever. But yeah. You got a lot of work to do, so I better get to it. But uh, yeah, any questions on this tool, just give me a shout out and uh, hit me in the comments. But it's actually a pretty decent tool for the money. If I was doing this with a battery operated one, I'd be changing the battery like every 10 seconds. Or as my friend said with the Milwaukee, he runs it for about 20 minutes and he's got to change the battery out. But this is a corded tool, I'm running it on uh, an industrial cord so very nice but it does the job so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe